Hi, we got uh, Mickey Rick Rivers here tonight, the uh, Harrison Apar uh, Golf Classic. Mick, what have you enjoyed uh, so far today coming out to you know support the event? Well, you know, it's always uh, it's a, a good thing to come out and support this cause. You know, I think it's worthwhile to come out and enjoy yourself with the people. The people's enjoy it and they support this. And you, for me, it's, it's, it's an honor to come out and do this. Um, you know, Mick, you're out of you know a lot of these type of events. You know, how do you feel about being able to lend your celebrity to be able to again help out? Well, you know, like I said again, you know, uh, I, I enjoy people in general. See, me, I'm a, I'm a people person, what I call myself. My family even get mad because I have more time with the people during my family time, and but I, I want them to know that I appreciate what the people's done for me as a plain I did a lot of things that wasn't caused for, wasn't good at the time, but they stuck behind me 100 percent So I always try to give them a little initiative thing. So okay, my time to give back to the people's to do something the people can appreciate. Uh, Mick, you know you were able to win two World Series here with the uh, Yankees uh, last year was the 35th anniversary of you know that 78 team. Um, what's it like for you now to be able to have you know that time away from it and just reflect on being such a, you know part of such a great group? You know the, the key thing is that you know like you say again I'd say you know the, it was a great bunch of guys. A couple of guys like I say again we got them from all over you know all over the league. You know you got a couple of guys like I say from Cleveland, Oakland, California. Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Chicago White Sox, and, and they made a, a great bunch of guys into a great championship team. Um, the Yankees just had one captain retire in Derek Jeter, um, and you played with another famous captain, Thurman Munson. What are your best memories of playing with Thurman, and then what have you learned about Jeter from all that time that you've worked in the Yankees organization? Well, well Thurman, Thurman was a, a great leader. You know, I saw it for myself and seen it doing with people. Like I say, you know, I I call it a guy how he treat people and how he treat not only try to treat himself, but how he treat the others around him. You know, he think about the others around him before he think about himself. So you know, that's a great leader because he always put the people first and make sure the people to be on top. Thurman was a guy always did that. Now for being around Jeter. Jeter, very intelligent, very, very intelligent, and his parents don't stand for no nonsense. They always pushing him in, and that shows you great things about great people. You know, he got great backup. The mom, the mom is lovely. She's always supporting anything you got to say or do, and she always will give you the benefit of the doubt to you prove, prove yourself wrong. Right? Yes. The dad, the same way. Jeter, the dad, the same way. He always been that way since I've known him. Anything you say, you know, he'll give me the benefit of the doubt. Because he know, he say, look, you've been doing this from year to year, playing ball for no, numerous years. So I know the structure of the up and down situation. So he'll tell me, this good and this bad. And you, you, know, you look at things, you know, that people say. And you probably put them in prospective ways, you know, that this what the people's like. So you should do things that the people's like. And you enjoy that more than, you know, I never wanted to put myself first. I believe this team was a team of guys, not I, as a team. And when I learned to put the team first, I did a better job. Um, one of your managers, Don Zimmer, just passed away uh, this season. Um, what's your recollections of playing for Zim? Uh, no, Zim was a great guy. You know, Zim always been a great person. The whole family, Zim family was a great person to me. When I first come up, they, they took care of me. They took care of me, especially, and I moved close to them in uh, Tampa. They stayed in St. Pete area, but, you know, and that's what you love about people like that, you know. They take the, the bear, what I call, and then it destroys that and make so it's, it's still good in anything you do. Only thing you got, got to see somebody, got to somebody you love, to appreciate, to bring the good out, out you know.
like I said, and he brought the gun out and showed me, okay, you can do this in the good fashion. And that's what I love about it. You know, he didn't take you and try to bury you because you yeah, did that in the long run and it didn't turn out right. You made a mistake. But yeah, when you made a mistake, some people bury you because you made a mistake. They didn't give you the opportunity chance to come back and say, okay, I made a mistake. I learned from that mistake. So I want to go all over with this. And that's what he gives. He gives the guys. He gives them the times, okay? I'm not going to bury you because you made a mistake now, nah, okay, now. Nah. If you keep making a mistake, it's a different thing. But you learn from making a mistake and, try, and straighten up. Um, Mick, you're a fixture at Old Timers Day. And uh, watching you, even you know, in those few short innings, that love is still there when you play. You always got that great smile, that excitement. You're still out there hustling on the bases. What do you like about coming to Old Timers Day and still being able to get on the field and, and you know, well, yeah, like I get say out again, there and play? I, I, I say again, it, it, the, the love comes from the people. The people want to see that. They want to mm. see, oh, Mickey Stick run. No, <laughs> I doubt that. But the thing about it, they love to see that. And I, I just turn it on and show them that they happy. That would make you happy. I go sit in the stands with them, talk to the people. They enjoy that excitement. They want to see things like that. And like I say again, you know, I enjoy people very much. Sure. You talked about, you know, that you get around uh, a lot. Does that take up the bulk? Like, what is the bulk of what you're doing now? And, and you know, from baseball retirement, what's like, what, what's Mickey Rivers up to now mostly? Well, I still have a lot of organization I work for and doing a lot of things, like a lot of charity work, you know, what I don't mind, you know, because I got the opportunity chance now just to do something to help somebody. If I could do something to help a kid or anybody, you know, I'm willing to do it. I take a chance, you know, I don't care how poor or however what, what you got to do. If it's gonna help somebody benefit and improve they self to help themselves, then I'm, I'm willing to try to help it. And, and that's what I do. I go out there, put on a clinic at the ballpark and help the kids, you know, much as I could and you know a lot of other little things I go in and do a lot of cleanse outside the ballpark. I just want to see the kids. A smile on the kid's face make me feel good. Yeah, well, you brought a lot of smiles here today. Thanks a lot, man. Right, I appreciate please. it. Thank you.